gonna do now, this is our actual uh, planter that we uh, cast yesterday and just cured out overnight. What I'm gonna do is just take a rubber hammer and I'm going to just pop the edge and lift. What it's gonna do is separate that concrete from the mold itself. And all I'm doing is just basically going around the edge and you'll hear it when it releases. It goes from a, a thump to a hollow sound, like that right there. So this mold is released now. It's that simple. And what we're going to do, this is a one inch foam. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down on the concrete and then I'm actually going to flip the mold over onto it. What I'm going to do is just roll the mold over. Right here you might have to help it out a little bit just because it's fresh concrete. Ease it over. From that point on, I want to get an air hose. This is not pre-drilled, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill the mold with a five-inch drill bit. Okay, now we've got the planter broke out. What I'm going to do is get ready to flip it upside down. What I wanted to show you was that on the inside here, in this planter, you'll see the grooves that are inside the planter. But when I fought this, it had another plate that went on the inside so water could drain out. What I did is left those there, and now when this pot is upside down and it has a hole drilled in it, when uh, water comes out, it'll channel out of these little channels. I think I paid. Uh, uh, maybe $15 for this pot. I got it on sale and I broke out tons of these planters out of this very, very one. So uh, they hold up for a long time. So now what I'm going to do is just stain this with probably an acid stain. Give me a really nice old rustic look. It's got some deterioration. What I'm going to do is just flip it over now and uh, let it cure out. What I like to do is just roll it up on its side. Try to be a little bit easy on your edge because it is it is fresh concrete and it's green. Roll it over and then just let it stand up. Roll it around with it being on this foam. You can do pretty much anything and it's not going to hurt it. Uh, if you do get any flaking, it's going to be right here on the edges where it's a real sharp edge. That's all going to get sanded off anyway. It's not a big deal. This whole top will get cleaned up uh, like we did in the basic series. So now, I'm going to let it cure out a little bit longer and uh, throw some acid stain on it, seal it up, and you got a finished product.